Hi folks. I think I'm going to do two quick videos. Yeah. Yeah. But the first one is, I was thinking again last night, it just came on my mind. That if I could go back and speak to my younger self, what would I now say? Well, because in the past, the idea has come. Because occasionally you see a movie which talks about tra time travel. And what, what would you do if you could go back? So, of course, a lot of people think, well, give yourself the lottery numbers or that sort of thing. Yeah. Tell yourself not to go into a, a certain relationship because, yeah, it won't work and it will hurt you. now if I could go back I would just tell my younger self that God loves you I don't think more than that would be needed I mean you could say the creator of heaven and earth wants a relationship with you. That God knows everything about you. And even though he knows everything about you, he still loves you far more than you can ever imagine. Because in the end, you could give yourself the lottery numbers to win millions. But there's a very good chance that that money would change your life for the negative. How would it change your life? If you had known earlier and understood earlier how much God loves you. Yeah. And of course it would change your life in a good way. But we can't go back and the reason we can't go back is because we are supposed to be where we are. We're not supposed to have a better relationship with God right now than what we have. Yeah. It is a pain. Yeah. Because it would be so easy if we could just do that. We could just understand then what we understand now, and by this point, we'd be in a far better place now. But we're where we should be. And although, if you're in a place that isn't great, that's that could be quite depressive. When you understand that God wants you to be where you are for now. There are reasons why he wants you to be there. Yeah. That can change your outlook. And yeah, we do need to have our outlook changed, don't we? Quite a while. Well, even that idea, when it came into my head, that changed a lot of my outlook. Because my outlook had been... Yeah, I don't like where I am. Yeah, because you can't see the evidence. You know, of, of what God has been saying, what God has been doing right now, 
there really still is no particular evidence that people can look at. There's nothing obvious. And with that being the case, yeah. For me, it's, you know, if God wanted my family, my dogs to be taken away, if he wanted me to plead guilty to that court case, if he wanted those things to happen, then good has to come out of it. But I'm still waiting for that. So it does put into question all the time, you know, did God really want all that to happen? But then, of course, when God then helps you to understand that you are exactly where you need to be right now. That helps you to understand that, okay. Yeah. And I was speaking to a friend yesterday. He was talking about the fact that he, if someone says to him, oh, God has said, but there's no fruit. He would judge that person as a hypocrite, as an empty head, an empty heart, and say that person can't be trusted. And what came to me straight away when I saw that is, well, hold it. The people in the Old Testament, Isaiah, was writing about Yeshua. Isaiah 58, I believe it was. And that was all writing about this, the Christ that is to come. And there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years between him writing that and Christ coming. So for such a long time there was no evidence or fruit to the words of Isaiah. And to there was. And so that is encouraging. To be encouraged by that point. And you know, even the fact of Yeshua said a lot of things that's going to happen, that we're still waiting for those things to happen. So that was over 2,000 years ago he said those things, and the fruit of those things hasn't happened yet. So if you're in a situation where God has said and you still aren't seeing fruit, understand, it doesn't mean that you won't. It just means that you haven't yet. So there you go. You take care. Be blessed. And be a blessing. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.